on. Hey, everybody. We're broadcasting now? Oh, hey, everybody. How you doing? Sorry, I got. I was trying to turn my mic on. Hey, happy Friday. It is, uh, what, what's the date today? It's January. What is today? Today is. I lost track. Today is the 21st. January 21st. Happy, happy Friday, everybody. We are so excited about today. First of all, you see I'm at a different desk. I'm at my traditional animation desk, which is where I always love to be. Because today is the day we've got our brand new animation course coming out to you guys. And we are so excited about it. Uh, this is my brand new advanced animation course on separating the performance from the mechanics. It's my uh, way of showing you how to approach complex, mechanically complex shots and how to break them down and animate them and come up with a nice shot at the end. Um, it's, it's over 13 hours of content. We've been working on this for quite a while, trying to get it just right to get it out to you guys. And we finally got it ready, and we are sending it out to you today. And the biggest, biggest, biggest surprise I've been, I've been dying to tell you guys, but we've been uh, wanting to hold back, is that, um, you know, I wanted to tell you guys, you guys have been so incredibly loyal, amazing customers over the years, and uh, this is our eighth year doing this. We wanted to do something special. So the course is free. So we're making it free to you guys for a limited time. And uh, so if you want it, get in there, get to creatureartteacher.com and you can download it. Now, not only is our course, is that course free, I gotta, I gotta re uh, re uh, go to my notes, but um, we're also knocking our membership, uh, our, our premium membership to the whole course. We're knocking that down 40%. So now we're, it's down to its lowest price that it's ever been. It's 40%? never been low. Yeah, 40% off. Holy so moly. this is this is the lowest it's ever been. So if you want to get a membership and get access to the entire website, this is the time to do it. Yeah, how much um, is it normally? Uh, I can't remember what it is normally, but we're, we're I think it's down to 149 right now. And oh, then wow. the uh, all of the animation and storyboard lessons are are fifty percent off or more because uh, my fundamentals uh, uh, course, my scene approach course, and then my four legged animation bundle. We decided to knock those down to five dollars a piece. So that's can, it. Yeah, five dollars a piece. Oh. We want to go back. You know, COVID is still a thing, and I still I wanted to do something to to still help people because I know people are struggling. And um, uh, the, uh, the, so when we finished, uh, when we finished the, uh, the, the uh, scene approach, not the scene approach, but the, uh, my new one, the, uh, my breaking down, of, uh, oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> Gonna uh, clear it all out. There's but, so much in your mind yes, right now. I know, separating the mechanics or the performance from the mechanics when we decided to get, when we got that done, Nick and I talked about it for quite a while. We decided to to, to put it out for free, um, and and we'll just make it a limited time. And so um, and eventually we'll start charging for it. But uh, we figured, you know, this will give everybody an opportunity to come in and get on the site and and grab that course and get you know and get it. And so and if there's anything else there that you want to get, you're going to be able to get it for a great deal. It's so, only available for the next thirty seconds. Yeah, <laughs> but I thought, and so in order, so in honor of doing all that, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do some animation and uh, do it on paper and actually shoot it and play it back and, and have some fun with that. There's not a whole lot we can do in three ish hours uh, of animation, but I thought I could do like a little run cycle or trot cycle or walk cycle or something. And as I was sitting here, I was thinking about this little dog character, maybe carrying a bone and trotting along really proud, trying to get some attitude. And I thought, why don't we go ahead and try to do something like that? So uh, unfortunately, Nick is not here today. Uh, he's had some other things that he has to take care of. So we've got just Dustin and I. So I say hi, Dustin. Hi. So we got Dustin and I, and uh, so Dustin's going to be manning all the questions. So be patient. Uh, he'll be manning both the Facebook and YouTube questions. Uh, the other ones we won't be able to get to. So if you're on Twitter or on uh, um, uh, the Twitch, Twitch. Uh, we will not be able to get to your questions over there. Hop on over to uh, YouTube or Facebook, and uh, Dustin will try to get to them over there. Keep in mind, he's one guy, and so am I. <laughs> <laughs> there's only so many people i can handle so so why don't we dive in because uh 
this is going to take a while. And I thought, you know what? Let's do this little dog. And I love scruffy dogs. And like I said, he's got a little attitude. And uh, I'm going to put his ears up in the air. Because he's, he's trotting along. He's just trotting along, singing a song. He's got a bone in his mouth. Got a little smile on his face. Eyes are closed because he's so happy. So happy. I get a nice... And what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll tie these down later. 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 Later, Gator. But he's super happy. And uh, is that wolf or on the wall in the back in the background there? Yes, Gator, right? that is a wolf. That is a wolf pelt. From a wolf that died of natural causes, so don't worry. I didn't trap him. I didn't. I didn't kill him. I'm not a. I'm not an advocate of that. Yeah, he ain't a. He ain't a trophy hunter. <clears throat> so, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm thinking about him doing a trot. And so trots are somewhat easy, somewhat, you know, they're, uh, it's, uh, it's one leg, two, two, it's always two, two feet up, two feet down. That's the best way of thinking about it. So I want to get that foot back here. Uh, very... Why is there on uh, whether on paper or on a uh, on a computer when it comes to traditional animation? Why are there uh, twenty four drawings uh, uh, per second? Well, that's that's the rate that film goes through the camera. So tra traditionally, film the film rate through a camera is twenty four frames per second. So that's where that timing comes from. And if you are and if you are animating exactly twenty four. Uh, drawings per second would that be considered drawing in ones yes and that's what we're doing today i will ultimately be every i'll have everything on ones today uh where's a good store to get uh animal skulls for drawing well i get i get all my skulls from bone clones you can get that online boneclones.com And uh, how do you make your uh, time lapse painting videos? I just time I I videotape myself painting and then speed it up. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Yeah, there it's a feature on um, on Premiere Pro where you go to that uh, to your video clip and if you right click um, for PC users or for Mac, it's the uh, Control click. Um, It'll bring up all these different options, and one of them is speed slash duration. And you click on that, and it'll give you the option of increasing the speed or decreasing the speed uh, under a certain percentage. So you can yeah, but I I actually don't even do it there. I um I do it in uh, uh, ScreenFlow, but I think ScreenFlow is only good for Mac. Yeah, and um, but I, I I speed it all up right there. Yeah, there has been uh. Some some videos that uh, I personally have uh, edited, especially like the watercolor. I think I did in some of the, some of your watercolor videos on YouTube. Yeah, where we've uh, where I've done uh, time lapse, and that and that was the way that I would do was through Premiere that way. In fact, one of them I believe I remember best was for the the Montana the. The photo of the three, uh, what uh, were they, antelopes? Yeah. In, the, in Montana? Yeah. The pronghorn? The pronghorn, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, he did a watercolor uh, on YouTube for that, and uh, and uh, tor towards the second half of it, uh, it was 
uh, we time lapse time lapse that. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite uh, Indian food to eat? Oh gosh, tikka masala. What is it? Tikka masala. Tikka masala. Tikka masala. And uh, what is your favorite animal? Oh, gosh. I don't have a favorite animal. I love them all. I really do. So, for those of you just joining, I want, I want to let you know that we've... Um, i got to turn on the fan. Sorry. Hold on one second. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hot in here. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Um, and a thing that you're using to draw is just a simple pencil, right? Yes. Simple. Is it is it two B or not two B? It is a two B of graphite, to thick lead. Thick. Yeah, but it's in a lead. It's in a graphite holder. So I got a little holder here. You push the button. It opens it up and it's got a, a big chunk of graphite that you slide in and I use it for that. Use it that way. Nice. Uh, have you ever tried animating with a very realistic art style? Sure, I have. And uh, it's not as fun. I like caricaturing, you know. And uh, when should when should he animate on twos? When you have slower action, when the action is subtle and more subtle and slow, you can you do twos, you can do fours, you can do it's whatever. You know, Miyazaki does a lot of animation on fours and sixes. He does a lot of ones too. But... Oh yeah, lot, lots of ones, but uh, yeah, a lot a lot of anime uh, uh, do. Yeah, it saves fours. time and money. You know, yeah. Less drawings, the less money. Yes, but they they definitely do a really good job. With so, uh, just real quick, sorry, Dustin, I wanted to show. <laughs> um, trying to get this flow through the body, you can see that, and just got this attitude. His head's up in the air, and I'm gonna make him smile a little bit more. If you've, been follow, if you've been following my uh, my YouTube videos or my TikTok videos that I've been doing lately, you'll notice that I've been pulling out a lot of old Disney animation that I've been finding. And uh, all done on paper. I've been shooting them. And so that's what I'm going to, when I get this done today, we're going to shoot this. We're going to shoot this on my down shooter. There we go. Scruffy little dog. Scruffy. We'll see what it looks like. Now, I want to do the opposite. This is where I use, uh, I'm going to use the translucency of the paper. You can see, as you can see right here, you can see through the paper a little bit. I don't use my light table. I don't use that at all. I use, the, tra I use the translucency <laughs> of the paper. It's focusing on your hair. Oh, is it? It was, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> He'll have a little bit of side to side to his head. Uh, if you could own the skull of an extinct creature, which one would you pick? Triceratops. I know... Huh? Triceratops. Triceratops. Yeah, because person also says, uh, I know bone clones offer skulls of saber-toothed cats and giant American lions. <clears throat> I've got a saber-toothed cat sitting right on my desk, right above me. Uh, what's the story of this doggy you're making? Well, he's he's just stolen a bone. It's sort of he kind of looks like Tramp, doesn't he, from Lady and the Tramp? And I think he's just gotten a little piece of food, and he's he's kind of got it, and he's trotting off to his favorite place to enjoy it.
And how do you decide the level of realism a character or a clip needs? That really, that that all depends on the art direction of whatever movie you're working on. This just is, a, since I'm just doing a demonstration, this is, uh, this is just my own, my own kind of style. As someone commented while you were turning on your fan, uh, on YouTube, someone wrote, it's 24 degrees over here, but I still use a fan as well. Yeah. Now you can see I cross over in, in the trot because I want to go so broad with it. His feet are going to cross over and his back feet go on the outside. And about your uh, pencil, is it uh, blunt or rounded instead of being sharp? Yes, it's blunt, but I have sharp edges so I can get nice little edges with it. Uh, is Disney starting to make 2D animations again? And are you they know what? I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing rumors, and I'm, I'm, I, I've heard that they're looking for people. I don't know. Yeah, haven't I heard that they are uh, starting up a... Uh, uh, training like a 2d art training uh project or something like that i, I don't remember. know yeah that sounds sounds cool it sounds fascinating and also from youtube uh hey aaron hey how's uh, it going hey eh? how's it going there bud uh i'm thinking about uh creating an animation studio any tips you can share any what any tips you can share about me uh, creating an animation studio? I know nothing about starting a studio. I would be the wrong guy to ask. Dom Carolla, who runs uh, uh, Firefly, a uh, premise entertainment. Sorry, Firefly was his old. It's the old name of his other studio. Um, he's a guy that he's a, a coworker of mine. We worked at Disney together. And after our, the studio he, uh, for Disney shut down here in 2004, he started his own studio. And he's been going since 2004. That guy knows it all. All the ins and outs. It's tough, man. It is tough. Keeping your own studio going. Uh, do you think studying pictures online can be a good way to improve drawing skills? Or... It helps. I don't think that's it's not the, the the best way, but I think I think it's okay. See what I'm doing is I'm reversing. I'm reversing the silhouette. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, would a head bubble be hard to animate in this cycle because it is so subtle? Yeah, it is hard, but I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway. Uh, did you see the uh, uh, Arcane TV show yet? I have. Uh, how far have you gotten into it? I've completed the series and I loved it. Um, I, I, I'm only a couple of episodes in. Gotcha. Yeah, I think like a, just a few days after they released the final episode, uh, your hair's in the frame, by the way. Um, they, they already teased and announced uh, a season two coming. And I think it's supposed to be coming later this this year. Which I'm really, really, really excited for. That's awesome. Sorry, I'm just, I've got to concentrate on this real quick. So yeah, just let me focus. draw just for a little bit. Basically, what I'm saying is shut up. Hey, shut up. I just want to get this out just real quick. Get off my territory. See that? You see how that head is bobbing back and forth? That's the bob that I want to try to get. Oh, well, someone uh, on Facebook confirmed uh, that it's true that Disney is looking for a need for 2D animators for training. Uh, 
Another person wrote that Disney opened a train a training program for 2D animation with people like Eric Goldberg and Mark Henn. Yeah, Mark and I worked together for years. Well, so did Garrick and I. And the program starts on uh, February, and the applications end this Sunday. Well, to everyone that's applying for it, the best of luck to you. For those of you that don't know, Mark uh, basically has animated every princess in the last 20 years, 30 years out of Disney. Um, he and I worked together on almost every film out of, and through the 90s. On Beauty and the Beast, I animated, I animated Beast, he animated Belle. On Aladdin, I animated Raja, he animated Jasmine. On The Lion King, he animated Simba, I animated Nala. He and I worked together a lot. I learned a lot from him. He was a great, he was a great mentor. There, see that head bob back and forth? Boop, 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 boop. Very subtle, but that's that's the uh, that's the bob that we want to get back and forth. Uh, will Glenn Keane do an animation two D training program? Would he? Uh, will he? I or, don't know. Do you think will he or would he? I don't think so. You don't think he? I would? think he wants to make movies. He might. He might work that into his. Who knows? All right. So there's our our little dog. There's our first two drawings right there. Our first two out of 24 drawings that we're going to end up with. So now we got to get our next key. And that's the bottom. It lose it loses focus for a second whenever you apply a new uh, sheet sheet of paper. Oh, does it? Yeah. But it's good now. Uh, have you seen uh, Star Wars Visions? It's the uh, um, it's the project on Disney Plus of uh, turning uh, Star Wars stories. Uh, or it's Star Wars, different Star Wars stories in anime form. Uh, yes, I've seen parts of them. Hair. So I'm going to redo this. Start with the trunk of the body. Uh, do you have any tips on uh, changing size perspective when animating? Size perspective? Size perspective. Your I head. I don't know what size perspective means. Unless you just mean size. I swear for this for this stream, I should grab the recording and just and just cut all the or just the. Uh, only have the moments where I'm just saying hair or or head, yeah, <laughs> and just count and just tally it to see how many times I I call it out. <laughs> so what's happening here is notice how the head is coming down, because when he hits the ground, it's going to create drag and that head's going to come down. Uh, what size paper do you use? This is 16 field paper. This is called 16 field paper. 16 field. What does it, what does it mean by field? That's how big of a field that it can see. And that's... The, the, that's um, hold on one second. You have you can do everything down to like little papers like six field all the way up to sixteen field twenty four field twenty four field is really big the field like is this big it's, it's it's basically how much the camera sees all 
Uh, have you animated a person riding a bicycle? I can't say that I have. Can't say that you have? There we go. And Franca, if you could uh, do that, that'd be awesome. Uh, some uh, uh, somebody's asking if the they like uh, they're willing to uh, copy and paste questions from Twitch from other uh, from other folks on Twitch. That could be a huge help. So here, the ears are going to be down. I get the nose is just a little too big. And someone on YouTube just wrote, I just saw that the new animation course is free. Thank you. Free for a limited time. Yeah. So if you, um, today is the first day of our, our brand new animation course. We want to get it out to you guys and it is free. I felt very strongly about getting something out. You guys have been so amazing over the last, year and a half and uh you know through covid and everything else we wanted to do something to give back and so we we decided to rather than to charge for this course we'd give it away for free for a while and see how it goes uh what's your favorite thing to animate um i, I love animating animals Four-legged, four leg, anything four-legged. I like the, the complexity of the, you know, figuring out the complexity. Uh, do you have a Discord? No. Uh, it, he does not, but I, I do, and uh, it's. Definitely something in the works for uh, for the group in general. So, but it's a work in progress. <laughs> and don't worry, I've been nagging at him about it all the time. <laughs> to the point, he just goes, "Shut up! Shut up! You shut up!" No, I don't do that. <laughs> So you see, I take a little bit more time on these, on the other keys. So I want to make sure they're just right. Uh, where do you get your animation light box table? That one's actually from uh, Disney itself, isn't it? Yep, I got this. This is the same. This is the desk that I used making Beauty and the Beast. And the Lion King, and Pocahontas, Aladdin, Mulan. Uh, do you have any tips on creating graphic digital paintings? I've been wondering how artists get those clean and crisp edges to their work. Well, it depends on the brushes you use, on the tablet that you're using. There's a lot of different factors that are involved. And also the size of resolution that you're painting in. Yep. Like, what's the settings that you usually do for yours? I usually paint 18 by 24 at 300 DPI. Okay, see that leg? See that bend? These are the things that you want to, I'm, I'm thinking about those mechanics. Did you work on Lady and the Tramp or Fox and the Hound? No, and that was before my time. <laughs> Lady and the Tramp was back in the 50s. <laughs> And when Fox and the Hound came out, I was about 10 years old, 12 years old. No, wait a minute, I was about 13. 13 I think it came out in 1980. 
I thought you were in your... I was 12. I thought you were in your 20s back in the 20s, you know. Yeah, like, hey, hey, you hey, Disney. Hey, it's me. Hair. And um, where is that? That's just from I was trying to hold on to it. Actually, I'm going to put um, that leg further back. Uh, what what was the general uh type of uh animation paper that was that was used for uh 2D animation in Disney? I'm using it right now. The 16 field. 16 field. Yeah. Is it a special kind of material? Uh, uh, yeah, there's definitely a, a special. I get mine through Animation Supplies. That's the name of the company. Animation Supplies. Yeah. What What is it here? Good lord. <laughs> you having a trouble? Having trouble. There is plenty of trouble. Ingram Bond, Ingram Bond, 22 pound. So it's I-N-G-R-A-M-B-O-N-D, 22 pound, 16 field, Acme Punched. <laughs> there you go. Zong on Facebook wrote, Aaron gave Walt Disney his first break. That is what I heard. Yeah. It's not funny. It's not funny. Yeah, dad was too shy for the spotlight, so he let Disney take all the credit. He <laughs> was like, it's not going to get off the ground. I mean, who would follow Disney? Are consistent hand movements important? Consistent hand movements. I'm not yes, sure I know what that means. Like, but, like making, sh like I'm guessing, like. But I mean, hand, hand movements gestures. that are natural is important because you want you want your movement to feel natural. Uh, for for drawing or animating, could I just use a uh, printer paper? You can, but it needs to be punched. Punched. You need to have... Like, how, how should it be punched? Like, with a boxing glove or a bare knuckle? You need to have these holes so that everything registers. And you need to have it sit on a disc. I'm going to put this off to the side right now. And we're going to do this one now. Or I'm going to draw the silhouette. Uh, so on Facebook has, uh, 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 Facebook Friedka has relayed a Twitch question as given by, uh, I can't pronounce that <laughs> name, but uh, it is a Twitch question. What medium was used to color the drawings in Lion King. Was it digital? Yes. All the drawings were done on paper, but hold on one second. Let me do this here. All the drawings were done on paper, but the um, But they were scanned. Sorry, I had to. When I'm thinking and talking, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, they were scanned into the uh, into the computer and then colored there. 
That's called the cap system, and that was first used during Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid was the last movie done on cells. Hi, I have a quick question. Okay. Okay. Uh, how should I name... How should I name each frame's file to keep them uh, organized if I'm animating with a video editor and drawing program instead of an animating program? Say that one more time. Uh, how should I name each frame's file uh, to keep them organized if I'm animating with video editor and drawing and a drawing program instead of animate an animate program? Like, say, it's, like, well, you name them in anything you want, just as long as you keep track of them. You name them anything you want. Uh, does this dog have a name? Uh, no. Let's come up with a name. Piper. Piper? Piper. Piper sounds good. Let's see what else somebody else comes up with. It can't be Tramp. It kind of looks like Tramp, but it can't be Tramp. Sparky. Sparky. Uh, what was another popular one? Uh, Max. 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 Bob. A tipper. We got tipper. Scruffy. We got Hujo. Barkley. Twonky. What? What'd you say? Twonky. <laughs> Bandit. Kiwi. Dyson. Frederick. Pick your pick your favorite, Dustin. Duke. I Duke. Like Duke. Dogecoin. <laughs> what is it? Dogecoin. <laughs> it, it's an actual uh, cryptocurrency. <laughs> or no, I think is it is it crypto? It is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how do you draw animals from life? They're they're constantly moving. And it's harder to observe. It is, isn't it? You just, you got to know their anatomy first. You got to study that anatomy. Once you understand that anatomy, it makes it a lot easier to draw them moving. Because a lot of times I'm not, I'm, I'm drawing what I know, not necessarily what I see. When I draw, when I'm drawing what I see, I'm just throwing down an impression and then filling it in with what I know. Brent? Brent LeBlanc is on YouTube says, Hey, Dustin, what's up, dude? Brent from Digital Domain Media Group. Love seeing all the stuff you and your dad have been up to. How you been, brother? Brent. I've been doing great. Got into wildlife photography a few years ago. Check all that out on my Instagram, Dustin underscore uh, Blaze. And uh, just been working with uh, dad for, what has it been now, five years? Almost six? Yeah. Yeah, almost six years now. And it has been fantastic. How about you, man? Uh, from Facebook, do you prefer animating on the computer or traditionally? Seems like computer would be easier. No, it's not easier. It's just different. It's a different tool. It's a fancier pencil. But as far as, you know, drawing, drawing on a computer and drawing on paper, to me, they're, they're pretty much the same. Uh, 24 frames per second seems daunting. Do you skip frames to create faster motions? No, you can't. No. You, 24 frames per second is, that's the constant rate. So you, you don't get away from that. Um, I'll skip frames just to get through a shot and hold those hold those drawings for multiple frames, Do you know, doing twos and fours and things like that. But you never get away from that frame rate. The rate is constant. That's that never changes. But today we are going to be doing straight up ones. 
This is going to be cool. It's going to take a while, but it's going to look good. I want to remind you guys today, uh, my uh, brand new course on uh, advanced animation techniques, separating the performance from the mechanics, that is out today. You can go to CreatureArtTeacher.com and download it for free. Oh, free. Yep, for free. It's for a limited time only. Um, we wanted to give back and let you guys have it for free. I mean, man, it's been, it's like trying to hold back a Christmas gift. I'm terrible at Christmas about holding back gifts. You know, I, I just want, <laughs> I want people, you know. And so I've been having a hard time not telling everybody that it was going to be free. But um, we, uh, we've also got a, a, our, um, our annual membership, our big premium membership. That's 40% off right now. That's the lowest it's ever been. So you can get it for the lowest it's ever been right now. And then also our, uh, some of our other animation courses are 50% or more off because my, uh, my fundamentals of animation, my scene approach uh, course, and my uh, four-legged walk or four-legged locomotion bundle, all of those are just $5 right now. So check that out. All right, so, 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 let's get these back in order. So we've got our four biggest keys done right now. There's one, two, see how that comes down, boom. And then we go to three, back up in the air, little head tilt. So you can see his head bob quite a bit. Quite a bit. So let's go in there and uh, let's let's start breaking it down, eh? Breaking it down. Breaking it down. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Go break it down with a chisel or a hammer. Or with bolt. a hammer. A hammer. Okay, so here's the breakdown. Here's what's going to happen, eh? All right, see? Here's how it's going to break down, see? I'm going to break this right down. This Hair. <laughs> uh, Brent says that uh, af after uh, DD, uh, that he went to uh, Blue Sky, then DreamWorks, then Pixar. Now he's a freelancer trying to do that full time. Cool. That's awesome. Hope all that works out for you. And, and uh, what projects did you work on when you at, were you at the studios? I have a really reach right here. Uh, on average, how long does it take to animate a minute or 30 second long sequence on your own? Uh, about a month. A minute, a, a minute would take me about a month. Depending on complexity. A single character. About a month. That's 90 feet of animation. That's a lot of animation. Uh, Fredka has relayed uh, another Twitch question from uh, Shatter Mitsumuri. Hopefully I pronounced that properly. Uh, have you ever asked uh, your old Disney friends who don't use social media to come draw with you live? Uh, yeah, I got a lot of my Disney friends right here in town. See how the head drags? See what I'm doing right here? Getting a drag in the head? Yeah. As the head drops down, Uh, would you say that pose to pose is like straight ahead at a, a lower frame rate where you draw in the in-betweens later? Now, pose to pose is different than, than straight ahead because you're, it's much more subtle.
Oh, we got a um a donation for, on YouTube from Ice Wolf saying thank you for the free animation course. I'm sure a lot of people will get so much valuable knowledge from your generosity. Happy uh, to tune in for another chill Friday stream after work. Thank you very much. And donate what I believe is a uh, twenty. Was what was what that symbol euro? I'm. Wow. I'm pretty. I'm pretty terrible with currency. Hang on. Oh no! It's a. a oh no! Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. My mistake. And thank you very much for that generous donation. Yes, thank you. Very much. So where are all the physical animations uh, for old Disney movies kept? They were kept in a place called the Animation Research Library. Animation? We used to call it the morgue. It's a place where all the, all the drawings went to die. And um, we, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get this through here. Um, well, the great thing about, about that is we were able to um, go down to the morgue anytime we wanted and check out animation so i could go and say hey i want to see the scene from uh, from bambi and such and such a shot and, I, and so i'd go in there with the person in charge of the place we put our white gloves on and off we'd go and i would get to to you know pull out these shots and handle them and re you know research them it was great Uh, we've got another uh, Twitch question relayed by Friedka. Thank you very much. Uh, Aaron, what was the hardest thing for you to learn, and how did you learn it? Um, in regards to animation, it's really uh, the loosening up and not getting so caught up in mechanics and, and, and really feeling the performance, feeling the attitude and drawing that rather than being hung up on if I, you know, my spacing something the right way or that that was the hardest thing to basically letting it become more intuitive uh from youtube has it's told... hard oh sorry sorry i, I just... were done yeah i was okay. I, I i it was just a <laughs> it was just a thought that popped into my you head done now are you done <laughs> Uh, from YouTube, has photo bashing um, ever been a part of your creative process? And if so, would you consider selling a course on it? Seems like an amazing way of creating perfect traditional painting reference. Photo bashing has been a huge part of my character design and environmental design uh, part, you know, part of my career. Yes, big time, and I would, and I've, I've got uh, in my, in my course, my introduction to Photoshop, digital painting. I do a whole section on photo bashing. And Jade from Facebook uh, is asking, what are your favorite museums or places uh, to go and draw to? My favorite museum that I've ever been to, art museum, is the Orsay in Paris. Orsay. Was the that Orsay. the one that we we all went to? Yep. Well, that's you're thinking of the Louvre. We we did go to the Louvre, but that's not no. my favorite. The Orsay. No, I never. No, we never went inside the Louvre. Yeah, we did. We. No. Yeah, we, we did. Walked, we walked past the Louvre. We never went in the Louvre. <clears throat> anyway, we did, but. Well, you, you did. <laughs> but the Orsay is my uh, the, the the impressionist museum in Paris. 
Is that the old the train? It's an old train there? station. Oh yeah, I remember that one. That's the one that I was going to. I think we went there the same day we went down into the catacombs. Was it? I'm not positive, but I think it was. I thought it was. I don't think. Oh, I think it could be. It could be a different day. But uh, another uh, another Twitch question. Uh, did you always want to do animation, or did something lead you to it? Um, no, I did not always want to do animation. I wanted to be a, an illustrator and painter. I wanted to be an illustrator and a painter. I wanted to illustrate for National Geographic. Um, but uh, I found out very quickly at school that um, National Geographic only freelanced. And so I was kind of out of luck as far as getting a staff position, which is what I wanted. So I started reevaluating my options and um, I was in my second year at school, finishing up my second year. I still had one more year left. At the time, Ringling was only a three-year school. I went to the Ringling College of Art and Design in Sarasota, Florida. And, um, and so I... Uh, I'm just assuming we're in the right place here. Shoot. Ready for another question? No, or? hold on. I'm just I'm looking at something real quick. Sorry. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Take your time. We're in I a am. rush. I am making <laughs> sure it's right. Um. So. I uh, I started reevaluating my options, and there was a, a a couple of companies that were coming to this to the school to interview, and I thought maybe I'd give it a try. Hair. One of them was um, Disney, and the other one was Hallmark Cards. And um, Disney just happened to be first, so I thought, hey, animation sounds interesting. I might give that a try, and that's how it, that's how I got into animation. It was really by a fluke. I just thought it might be interesting, and lo and behold, I got in. Thank God I did, because it turned into something I've absolutely loved for the last 35 years. Uh, are you drawing the keyframes or the sequence frames? I've done the keyframes, and now I'm doing the breakdowns and the in-betweens. And uh, Citizen uh, Seagal on uh, Facebook says, we are experiencing a high volume of traffic in your site. No way to download anything now. Uh, sorry, guys. Just keep keep trying. Because we're, we're offering it for free, just everybody, there's so many people there. The site, the site started slowing down like within 10 minutes of me announcing it. And so it's just, I'm sorry. We just weren't prepared for it to, to happen that quickly. But, it's like um, a Best Buy on Black Friday. Yeah. <laughs> but just stick with it, and it'll it'll happen. Uh, I know that uh, Steve, Steve uh, uh, Coleman, our one of our other uh, creature art teacher guys, he's been on uh, on the phone with our with our server people to see if they can get a little bit more bandwidth on there to help us out. We weren't expecting it to be as as big as it is. So we apologize, but it's free. Hey, what can I say? But uh, just stick with it. Another uh, Twitch question from uh, Relayed by Frightka. Thank you very much. Uh, this question is from uh, both Shatter Mitsumuri and uh, Grumpy Edits. Um, when did you start animating and how fast were you uh, at your animating at your peak? Oh, I could do about 15 feet a week. 
hair, by the way. Um, at my peak. And, uh, but I mean, speed isn't, it's, it's more about quality and you want to, you know, you, of course you want to be fast enough that you're not bogging down everybody, but I'd rather be a little bit slower and putting out quality work than fast and putting out bad work. And so that was always the keys. You just want to make sure you're putting out good work. Are you going to shoot this animation in the live stream? Yes. Yep. We're going to see the whole result. It's just going to take a while. Stick with me to get all these drawings done. I need it. Need to catch up on these on these questions. There's so many to go through. It's okay. We're gonna be here for a while today, folks. Uh, do you use the video reference? Yes, I do. Not today. We're not. We're going. We're just doing this out of our head today. But I've I've used a video reference. As a matter of fact, in the new course that uh, we're offering you guys, I go. I do a whole section on using video reference. We use video reference on every movie we've worked on. Uh, when was the last time you felt a big improvement in your art? Um, it happens every, probably about every year and a half or so I break through and, and something new breaks through for me. It's about every year and a half on average. Like I'll, I'll just hit a breakthrough. Uh, what animal subjects would you recommend for value students? For value students? For value students, or just for student? Uh, oh, value studies. I read it wrong. Oh, any animal. Value studies, you can do that for any animal. Sorry. All the letters are merging together. Well, let me see. Let me put these back in order. So this is coming down here. And then we've got this here. Here. Uh, can you tell us about the live event next month a little bit? Just yes, 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 yes. Let me tell you more about that. Yeah, I forgot to bring that up today. I uh, so gung ho on the. Uh, I'm so gung ho on the uh, the new animation course. I forgot to tell you about the Butt Live event. It's a little hard to see the flipping, but matter of fact, I might turn it a little bit. Just a little right there. Let's see if that helps. The live event is going to be a little hard to see. Uh, the live event is going to be February 26th, and it's going to be um, a figure drawing, live figure drawing. I'm going to be bringing in models, and it's going to be uh, all costumed models where I'm going to focus on fabric, how fabric folds, um, how fabric you know uh, um, affects the the pose itself, how you can get character out of it. We'll be talking about, you know, features, portrait, portraiture, a lot of different things. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be talking, uh, doing uh, one minute poses, two minute poses, five minute poses, long poses. It's going to be an all day event. So that'll be February 26th. So go on over to creatureartteacher.com slash live and you can get more information there. And for you two, what was that mark uh, that you draw on the top of your animation? Okay, yeah, like I just did. That's yeah. a, the circle I just did indicates that it's a key. I might want to tilt up, either tilt up the camera or tilt let down me, the. Let me, uh, let me pull path. out a little bit. There you go. 
Yeah, I'm gonna tilt. Oh, I'm gonna tilt this back. You want me to help readjust the camera, or no? There we go. So, so far, we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, actually. Okay. So we're breaking it down, breaking it down. We're one fourth of the way there. So there's our, our in between there. Now we got to do an in between going up. So we got to do the drawing favoring the down pose. Uh, what happens after you draw everything? Um... Do you scan it, or is it placed in a machine that flips the pages? I shoot it on a down shooter. You'll see it. I'll, I've got it next to my desk. <laughs> Mark, Martin Berger corrected joke on this. The machine that flips the pages is called Dustin, I guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, because I remember I took, I took all the uh, scanning shots of all the... Uh, of all your uh oh yeah back then i'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in just a bit because it feels a little far away and a question from uh Franca herself uh sorry. uh do you think there's do you think there still will be spots left uh, for the live workshop in the first week of February? I hope so. I can't guarantee that there will. We only open it up to 300 people. And a Twitch question for uh, Relayed. Uh, how long does it take uh, for a usual cut? How long does it take for a what? How long does it uh, take for a usual cut? I think like a how usual long... shot. You mean? Yeah, for a shot. Um, I usually my my average was a shot per week. Because you know, just doing a a little shot like this of a dog trotting along, that's not a usual shot. You never just got a a a, a, a trot cycle. There's always something that was more involved. Uh, is it po uh, YouTube question? Is it possible uh, to use photo bashing for finalizing animation? Not really. I'm not sure I understand the question, but I don't know. I don't use photo bashing. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you would do that. Yeah, photo bashing is more for like concept art or illustrations. But... Yes, photo bashing is more about surfacing something. Yeah, giving different textures and. All that stuff. Or back, yeah, texture to a background, or whatever. Uh, for this particular uh, animation, how many frames are you planning? 24. 24 for the cycle. And how and how far are we in uh, right now? Six. Nice. I'm doing the seventh drawing right now. Uh, Facebook, question for both of us. Uh, what are your next plans on courses, uh, topic-wise? Well, I was thinking about, actually, I want, this would actually be a good time to ask the question. I was thinking about doing a course on animating on paper. Animating An on paper. Animating on paper. I know it's kind of an antiquated thing, but I, I, I still think it's something that's worth teaching. And I was wondering if there's, if there's people out there that would be interested in learning how to animate on paper. <laughs> oh my God, what is that software? It looks so real.
hair. <laughs> so what's the consensus? This is... Would people be interested in a course on animating on paper? Uh, people on YouTube are saying yes. Uh, that would be so great. Sure, that'd be great. Yes, please. I am in. That would be fun. Yes, please. Uh, someone does ask, uh, how about a course focusing on backgrounds and layouts? We've already got one somewhat uh, on uh, production design with Armand Serrano. Something like that. It's not quite that. A lot of uh, a lot of people on YouTube are saying definitely yes, and uh, and f and Facebook we're getting a lot lots of yeses and yes please and yes. I know I said yes twice. Uh, Zone G uh, Facebook says, if if you do an animation on paper, that would be cool if we also knew how to get the supplies and create a desk set for it. Yeah, that, well, that would be the thing that I would do. I would kind of show you how to do it all and give you links. The software that I use uh, for shooting everything is... Um, uh, Dragon Frame, and it's about four hundred dollars for the software, but it's really robust. So I, it's really worth it for me. If it's just a something that you might want to just try as a, in a, you know, as a kind of a flyby thing, maybe that's a little high. But um, but I think it's a pretty good price actually, for what you get. And a lot of the, uh, it's pretty standard software in the whole stop motion industry. Dragon Frame is pretty awesome. Uh, from Facebook, I'm still curious about how they animate a crowd of running puppies in 101 Dalmatian. You'll see that there's a lot of repeated animation in there. And so was it was it one pop puppy drawn by one animator then later combined into a crowd, or is it the crowd done by one animator? No, it's one animator. They may have had a couple of animators, but my guess is that it was one animator and he just he animated about ten different puppies. They just repainted them uh, and staggered them in different ways. And Fred has relayed another uh, Twitch question on Facebook. Uh, we've seen you animate animals, and I love them, but I haven't seen you animate the mythical or sci-fi creatures that you've drawn. Uh, do you have any plans on that? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. 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 Um, yeah, I just have. I haven't thought about that actually. So here's a, a real stretch right here. Uh, one on Facebook and one on YouTube uh, both said, uh, about the the marker drawing course? Oh, yeah, we were going to do that. And um, uh, I'm in the middle of uh, some marker, uh, working with somebody, a new company, that um, we'll we'll talk about in the next in the coming weeks, uh, but we'll definitely do something down the line with them. So yes, we'll be doing a marker course. Uh, we're talking about the uh, the animation of the 101, 101 Dalmatians. Um, Jay Pride asks, uh, 
didn't the an animator use a similar method for animating the wildebeest stampede but it was more modern cgi yeah the wildebeest was animated by ruben aquino originally he's the guy that went through and first of all ruben aquino is the the lead animator of ursula and he was this lead animator of of simba adult simba in the lion king but he was one of the first animators on the movie and he went through and compiled piles and piles of information for all of us to work off of for animal locomotion things like that and he really became an, a, a a four-legged locomotion expert and um one of the things he did was he got together early on with the cg department and he animated uh, a wildebeest running and then you know throwing its head around and doing all that. And then they built the wildebeest in 3D and matched his drawings. And so, and they, they articulated each one to match each one of his animation drawings. And so even though it's, it's done in 3D, it matches his hand-drawn animation perfectly. And then all they had to do was repeat it, which is easy to do in CG, repeat it hundreds and hundreds of times over. And then you've got, you've got your, uh, We've got the animation. And that's how you end up with a herd. Uh, any updates on the course with Manny? No, not yet. Um, we're going to be lighting a fire in a Manny soon. <laughs> if you're listening, Manny, we're coming after you. He's been out there tracking, uh, I think I've, I'm bobbing the head too much. I'm bobbing the head way too much, but what the heck? Let's roll with it anyway. We gotta do another one to match that. Bobbing the head too much. So we've been listening to Meatloaf today. The, uh, the musical star Meatloaf passed away. Bat Out of Hell came out in 1977. Boy, that album's got so many memories. I've got so many memories with that. I used to go camping with my friends when I was 10, 11 years old. I don't know how we got away with it, but I used to go camping with my buddies. And we were only like 10, 10, 11 years old. And we would just go camping for the for an entire weekend. And our parents would be like, okay, just let us know when you're coming, when you get home. <laughs> and we'd take, our, we'd take our tents and load them up on our bikes and take off and we'd be gone. We had our eight track players and so we could listen to music. And uh, Meatloaf was one of the was one of the albums that we had. Bad out of hell. I have so many memories of sitting around the fire and you know listening to Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Uh, from YouTube. Uh, hey, Aaron. Hey, what's going on, eh? How's it going there, bud? Uh, what do you think is the hardest animation style to produce? 2D, 3D, or stop motion? Oh, there are, I don't, there's no, I don't, they're all, they all present their, uh, their own difficulties and, and idiosyncrasies, you know, they're all completely different. I think probably the easiest to produce would be 2D because, I mean, really, hair. all you got to do is, what I'm doing right now is, is sit here and think of it and draw it. You know, when, when you do, when you do uh, 3D or, or stop motion, I mean, you got to, you got to build an armature and. You know, I got to get a, a, a model and that that's that they, they, you can articulate and all that kind of stuff. 
In CG, you got to build the character. That little dog, I'm telling you. <laughs> our little dog, Max, he weighs about two and a half pounds. He's a little toy poodle. He's uh, 15 years old. He runs the house. He's this old man, and he's so loud. That's him barking. Another uh, relayed uh, Twitch question from Freka by someone named uh, Jay Zellino. Uh, Can you go take care of the dog, Dustin, real quick before you do that? Uh, sure. Thank you. Sorry, folks. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oops, I'm drawing on the wrong. I'm doing this completely wrong here. I left them out back in the on the patio. Oh, good. With the uh, bun bun and the cats. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, yeah. Uh, so, the relay Twitch question asks, uh, I have a problem. Uh, when I'm drawing a reference photo, I feel bad and unmotivated because my drawing doesn't look the same as references. Well, you got to understand what you're drawing. So, once you get to understand what you're drawing, your drawing will get better. Just because you're using a photo doesn't mean it's going to look exactly like it. you got to understand what it is that you're drawing. Yeah, because once you understand it, you'll know where to push it, where you, where you can push it real good. To quote, salt, pepper. <laughs> From YouTube, what do you mean take care of the dog? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and you want take care of the dog. With a silencer with a, <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> take care of the dog. Sorry, take care of Godfather music kicks in. What's that? Somebody wrote Godfather music kicks in. <laughs> Go take care of the dog. <laughs> Go make a mafia you can't refuse. See all that momentum we got going forward right here? I guess uh, P uh, there's some folks on uh, on Twitch that are asking uh, about your about your pencil for the latecomers. Okay, hold on one second. Let me get this in order. <laughs> Make sure everything's. Down here. Yeah, see, we're out of we're out of order. You're out of order. The whole system's out of order. You're out of order. <clears throat> All right, let's start at the beginning here. We got this guy, this guy, this guy. Uh, see that? Oh, there we go. This this guy. Then I need. This guy, this guy here, see. Oh, there it is.
That's our big key right there. Circle. Uh, so what I'm using is a, a piece of graphite um, and a graphite holder. And this should loop right back into this drawing right here. So what do we got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight drawings. We've got 16 more to go. But now we basically got... This is basically our animation. Now I just got an in-between it. I'm going to do a, a run-through on the in-betweens. Uh, who is the best technical animator you know? Best technical animator is James Baxter by far. James Baxter? Yeah, and he's not alive anymore, but but Richard Williams was is was also. It's focused on your hair. There you go. So I'm going to scribble these out kind of quickly. Uh, I relayed a Twitch question from End Endless Rage. Uh, I'm going to Disneyland next week. Uh, what is your favorite ride from back in the day and favorite new ride? I don't have a favorite new ride. I haven't been to Disney in years. Oh, actually, mm -hmm. no, I take that back. Yeah, Disney World, they've got the, the Avatar. Oh, yeah, the Avatar Glider. Yeah. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah, one of my favorite rides back in the day was the uh the movie ride but that's not there anymore no but um but the other one i always wanted to go like the moment we got into the uh uh hollywood disney or at the time was mgm studios was the uh, star tours oh yeah that that was my go-to that always was yeah I wonder, are they still doing the um the indiana jones stunt show no i think it's gone Ah, uh, man, that was a fun, fun show, too. And all the good ones have just, are all drifting away. <laughs> you don't like change. I don't, I really don't. Jim Baxter, uh, did he animate Spirit Stallion? Yes. He animated uh, Beast from Beauty and the Beast and Belle, Rafiki. Um, he was the supervising animator of Rafiki. Uh, in uh, the movie Enchanted, all the animation in the beginning, that was his. I've got a uh, member on YouTube asking, who's behind the camera reading the questions? That'd be Dustin Blaze. That's me. My son, Dustin. Yeah, I'm currently juggling between YouTube and uh, and uh, Facebook right now because uh, the other person is usually behind the camera with me, uh, Nick. He is not here at the moment. So uh, Nick's not here today. Hair. But, um... He's here in spirit. in spirit. And for those of you that have come in late, my brand new animation course, uh, how to perf uh, my advanced animation course on separating the performance from the mechanics, uh, that is out today. 
And for a limited time, uh, what we're really excited about, it's absolutely free. So you just got to go to CreatureArtTeacher.com and download it. Now, we're experiencing extremely high levels of traffic right now because it's free. <laughs> so everyone's wanting to get in there. So just be patient. It might take a little while. We're, we're trying to fix it. Um, but, you know, just keep trying. Yeah, just keep trying to refresh and try to get as many of your, as many of your friends as possible to hop on there at the same yeah. time, too. But also, um, not only is uh, the course for free, um, our, our, our premium membership, which is our biggest value, it's actually the best value in art education online right now, um, because you get everything. You, you pay the one fee, and you get everything on the site that's available, plus... Because it's a, a one-year membership, you get anything that's made, any new courses that come out for that year as well. And then um, on top of that, uh, we've got a lot of animation courses that are 50% off. <clears throat> Or more, and then a few of my animation courses, my uh, my my uh, fundamentals of animation, and my scene approach, and my uh, four-legged locomotion bundle. Those are all um, five dollars right now. Five bucks. Uh, another relay Twitch question. Uh, how would you add background to an animation that's done on paper instead of a cell? Also, do the paper creases affect the end result? No, the paper creases do not affect the end result. And the, um, the drawings that are done on paper are Xeroxed onto, or in the old, old days, they were inked onto a cell. Yeah, talking about the old uh, Disney ride, so uh, a Facebook uh, person mentioned my favorites were Twenty Thousand Leagues and Mister Toad's Wild Ride. Oh yeah, and Peter Pan. Peter Pan is that is, Peter Pan's still alive. Here we go. Here you we fly go. over London. Uh, from YouTube, did Disney encourage a work-life balance, or was it more like crunch, 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 twenty-four-seven? Um, no. It, when when there wasn't a crunch, it was fine. Um, it wasn't bad at all. So you know there was a crunch. Oh. three months, four months out of the year. Otherwise, it was a normal normal work schedule. Uh, which course of yours do you recommend for a beginner? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for animation, I recommend my fundamentals of animation followed by my scene approach. If you're looking for design, I would go for my uh, anatomy course uh, in character design. Um, if you're talking about just getting into uh, digital painting, I've got a whole introduction to digital painting. So it really depends on what you're looking for.
uh, from Facebook. Uh, I'm thinking about building a traditional animation setup. What That's is great. The op what is the optimal drawing height uh, for an animation desk? I'd say 36 inches. Oh, not, not seven? Not seven. No. Nope. <laughs> Oh, this is an interesting question from YouTube. Uh, is there a book you have loved or you would have loved to see adapted to a Disney film that never has been? Yeah, there's one that I brought to Disney and I started, but we never got to finish it. And that was uh, The King of the Elves by Philip K. Dick. It was a short story, actually. But we never got to finish it. Uh, from YouTube, have you tried to animate in something, or have, have you tried to animate something in Procreate, and do you like it? Yeah, I've animated in Procreate, and I do like it. I love it. I really recommend it if you've never done it before. Matter of fact, I've got a course on an introduction to Procreate, and in that, I, t I show you how to animate on it. Uh, now, on Facebook, another related question from Twitch. Uh, for someone just learning animation, what do you think the biggest pitfall to watch out for? Uh, getting too tight and using the light table. Try to see the uh, try to see the action through flipping, not through the light table. Notice how I don't have my light table on. On YouTube, what happened to the Jack and the Beanstalk project that <clears throat> they were working on a few years a few years back? It got shelved. Sometimes a movie just doesn't work out, and they they decide rather than just to cut their losses and to move on. And so that's what happened on that one. That's what happened to my movie, King of the Elves. I was having a lot of trouble with it, and I couldn't figure it out. I was having trouble with the story and i was having a lot of personal problems my wife had just passed away and but um but i was really struggling with the movie and they they just decided to cut their losses and shut the movie down you know making movies there is expensive so i totally get it understand and don't blame them Uh, from YouTube, are your courses your main source of income, or do you still work in the industry? My courses are my main source of income. I don't really work in the industry anymore. I'm, I'm trying to create my own content. Another relayed Twitch question. Uh, how does Western animation production compare to Asian animation production? I don't know. It seems that they have very different approach to the whole process. They do. I just don't, I don't know the difference. I don't know enough about Asian production. Uh, what do you think of the movie Klaus uh, from Netflix? I think it's genius. I'm a big fan of of uh, 
Sergio Pablos, who is the director. I think the guy's a, a genius. And it's definitely, in my opinion, one of the best uh, unique style 2D animated features. Not I think it's one of the most beautiful 2D films that's come out since Snow White. I mean, not Snow White, since Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. And I love the uh, the design concept for for all the characters and uh, and the sets and and the art style is just beautiful. It really is. Well, we're cruising right along here, aren't we? Another Twitch question. Uh, yeah. What was your favorite Disney animated film you worked on? Um, well, there's Brother Bear. That was that was the hardest. And uh, and I, I grew the most as an artist. Um, but I, I'd say Lion King. A uh, question from Facebook. Is there a way for you to share or for us to share our artwork? And animation with you not right now there's not but we're working on a on a way so give us a little bit of time and we're gonna start that's something we're gonna try to work on this year trying to get more of that Uh, from YouTube, if you ever made something about the last Ice Age, aside from Brother Bear, uh, what would it be about? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe um, a bear in the snow? <laughs> That's a tough one. Probably a saber tooth cat. I love saber tooth cats. Uh, is there a certain type of brand of uh, animation uh, paper you prefer? I find it hard to see drawings underneath with some. Um, I, I don't depend on having to see through the paper. I just like to see a little bit of a, a ghost image. Uh, I guess I did that too soon. <clears throat> but the, the brand I'm using, I like a lot. Uh, do you like uh, Chuck Jones's animation? Oh, of course. I grew up on it. And uh, do you know Brian LeMay? Ryan LeMay? LeMay? No. Uh, from from Facebook asking about the uh, uh, the workshop. If I have the membership, uh, do I get the live class uh, for free? No, you, uh, I'm, this yeah, is discount. this is outside of that, but you do get a discount. If you have a membership to the site, you get a discount on the live class. Uh, Nick Nabelski from YouTube asks, what happened to all your hair? I cut it off about four years ago. <laughs> he also uh, 
I also trimmed it up last week. Oh, I did trim it last week, yes. All right, we're getting there. Slowly but surely getting there. One down, 23 more to go. <laughs> but hey, this is uh, Animating Live, folks. Animating Live. Uh, from YouTube. Hey, Aaron. Hey, how's it going, eh? Hey, how's it going, there, bud? Uh, are you planning on selling your animation drawings, uh, drawings like these, or from your uh, time of business? Uh, I, I didn't have any plans on selling them. You guys interested? I'm sure they would. From Facebook, uh, what's, what's in the, uh, that dog's mouth? It, a toxic sausage or a leftover <laughs> McNugget? It's a bone, baby. It's a bone. Did you say a toxic sausage? Toxic sausage. <laughs> Uh, will you, in the future, do a course on drawing dogs? Yes. Yeah, I've got my course on drawing wolves, coyotes, and foxes. But I will do a course on domestic dogs. Uh, do you know the artist uh, Juan, Juan Joe uh, Bornito? What is it? I know I'm butchering <laughs> You all right? No. <laughs> um, I love doing that to you. Juanjo? Juanjo? It's J U A N J O. J U A N J O. Juanjo. Juanjo? 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 Juanjo Guarnito? Guarnido? 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 But have you ever... No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, first, uh, he does some uh, amazing animal character designs. Oh, if this is the, if maybe the French art. There's a French artist I know that does uh, amazing. Did a lot of stuff for uh, Kung Fu Panda. Uh, that might be the person you're talking about. Uh, does it make a difference if you are uh, right-handed or left-handed uh, when you're flipping the paper? Not really. You know, if you're, it's if never you're really mattered to me. Animate like you would uh, when you're right-handed, just when you when you officially shoot the images, you just flip them. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Bay asks on Facebook, will the domestic dog course be like the birds of prey course? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we'll definitely be going into that much detail. <laughs> we'll end up talking my about my business every partner and my breed. son will kill me. <laughs> every single breed of dog. Including the mixes and the puppies. And it'll be it'll be like fifteen different breeds in each and for each breed we'll talk about the paws 
and then the next video will be talking about their heads. Yeah. And then their and then the next will be about their torso, and then the next one will be all all of uh putting all of them together. And those four episodes will be for one dog out of uh, fifteen dogs. Let me do a little stretch on here. Watch this. <laughs> do a little stretch on this nose. Uh, what about um, uh, how to draw for for animation? Uh, as of course, I mean, there is a hand drawn uh, animation that you're, that you're talking about doing, but uh, I think he's talking about more like the simplicity of an of drawing for animation. I think. Yeah, I mean, I I, I kind of try to do that in all my design courses. I don't know if I'll have a specific how to draw for animation course. <laughs> Although I could probably I could probably come up with something like that. All shape based language, you know. Yes. 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 I said. Probably been asked this, but uh, what is your quote unquote relations re relationship with Heinrich Clay? My relationship? Relationship, yes. You mean the German artist that drew in the eighteen hundreds? <laughs> I have no. I, I like Heinrich Clay's work. <laughs> we had a thing. Going on. Let's see how we're looking here. Uh, what do you think about puppet animation when it comes to D uh, TV shows? What do I think about puppet animation when it comes to TV shows? I have no opinion on that. I don't know. Puppet animation when it comes to TV shows. Yeah, I think it's cool. It could, it could work. It has worked. There's a lot of stuff done back in the 60s. Has Dustin ever tried his hand on the Disney desk? Uh, no, not really. I don't think you have, right? Mm, no, not, not that I think of. I mean, if when it comes to like working at the Disney studio itself, I've never did that. But um, I did work in. I think, the... I think they're talking about the desk here. Huh? I think they're talking about the desk here. Yeah, I. Yeah, I don't think I ever. I ever have. I mean, I've. I've messed around like flipping, like flipping pages, but never like try making any animations or anything on there. Hey, look at that phone call. Look at that garbage call. Let's turn that off. Garbage call. That was from Gonzales, California. <laughs> Martin Berger on Facebook asks, how's your, how's your relationship with Julius Caesar? <laughs> <laughs> I like his hair. 
I don't, we don't have a very good relationship. That guy stabbed me in the back. <laughs> what a backstabber. <laughs> Have you ever done a uh, traditional animation using watercolor? Not really. I've thought about it. I've tried like little things here and there, but nothing serious. <laughs> Edgar writes about your phone call, but what about your car warranty? <laughs> Uh, from YouTube, how do you determine determinate? <laughs> how do you determine the direction and distance of the movement in the tail? You know, it's all just experience and feel. It mm. all just comes from I've done it so many times. I know how fast it's going to go. Like already, I know there's a few places I've got to add in betweens in here. I mean, I, I've got to add in betweens beyond the in betweens that I'm adding, that I'm doing as I'm drawing this. Uh, what is the best exercise to learn how to flip pages like you do? You know, that, that's just another one that's time. It becomes so second nature. You know, I've been doing it for 30 years, and it just becomes. It becomes very second nature. I have a feeling the ears are going to have to be adjusted a little bit, but I'm going to keep them the way they are for now. Uh, any tips for beginner artists? Draw. Draw a lot. Draw. Make mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. Uh, in what form do the directors, producers, and artists uh, establish the characters' emotions? Well, we try to get it in the script, really. You want that script to read as emotional as possible so that that's, that's your basis of the whole story. So we spend a lot of time getting that script right before we ever start drawing images. We write and we rewrite and we write and rewrite again. And then from there, that should be a good basis for, hold on one second as I get this. Um, there should be a good basis there for, for then your, for your drawings to, to kick in. You know, if it's written well, then you're going to know what to draw and every stage should improve upon the last. Like once we go to picture after the writing stage, that should be a little bit better. It should be a little bit clearer. It should have a little bit more dynamics. And obviously it should because it's, you know, we're, we're creating picture now to the words. Erica Bay says that she uh, thumbed through the videos of the new course and looks amazing. Looking forward to starting it. Thank you, Erica. And I'm loving that cheetah painting you're doing. One of your one of your photos, Dustin. Yes, I know. I've, I've seen it. it. Looks great. Uh, from Facebook, how to overcome the fear of how people will judge your work? Don't I don't care about what other people think. So there you go. <laughs> don't worry about how other people don't be. You know, it's so weird. We live in this society now. Of, especially with young people, I see it because it's all social media and, and everyone judging and looking and 
making statements about others and, and being cruel and everything else. And I never grew up that way, and I, I just couldn't give two shits. Excuse my language. Couldn't give two shits about what people think about me. I, you know, I do what I do for myself, and, and, I, and, I, ga and I gauge everything against myself. There's time where I feel really stagnant, and I'll, and I'll, you know, and I'll, and I'll go online and to look for inspiration from other artists, you know, and, and I do that. So don't worry about what other people think. Worry about, just worry about yourself. And if you feel like you're learning, you know, if you're learning, then that's great. Everyone's got an opinion. Doesn't mean it's the right opinion. Uh, what did you think of Encanto, and do you have a favorite song? Yeah, the the Big Sisters song. I can't remember her name. Uh, was it Louisa? The really strong sister. Yes. Yeah, I love her and song. Under the surface is the name of the song. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, that's definitely one of my favorites. But I think my my personal favorite has to be. Uh, uh, don't we don't talk about Bruno? You don't know Bruno. What Bruno? is it? And how is we don't talk about Bruno? What are you saying? What are you bobbing at? What? Beverly Bobby Boo? We don't talk about Bruno. Oh, we don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Uh, what brand of copy stand uh, do you have to shoot the drawings? For uh, I can't. I don't. I, I don't remember what brand that is. Um, <laughs> do you see anywhere on there? I don't see. There's a. Uh, there might be a brand. Isn't it the same as the? Um... Yeah. It's there's there's a. a SV. Logo. SV. Smith Victor. Smith Victor. There you go. Smith Victor. Smith Victor. <laughs> A new Twitch question. Uh, from Tiger Blades BPS, uh, what is the job outlook for animators? Is it in increasing or decreasing? Oh, I think it's increasing. I don't know. I, I'm I'm not in the uh, in the thick of it right now. You don't know. But I think it's increasing myself. My opinion. How do you not know? My opinion. Your opinion. My humble opinion. I look at all the content that's being created and all the and all the the uh, streaming networks, and it just I would be amazed if the opportunities are getting smaller. That would be crazy, man. Right. Um, on YouTube, what? I just lost it. Yeah, I definitely got to put uh, it in between. How do you there. deal with um uh, carpal tunnel? Carpal tunnel? Yes. I don't have it. I I tend to draw from the shoulder. I don't really draw, you know with my wrist doing this a lot. I just, I keep my my arm like that and I draw from the shoulder. I think that's part of it. Uh, any plans to visit Dubai? 
Um, that would be a heck of a trip. Uh, there's no plans right now. But uh, that doesn't mean we're not going to. We might be in the Netherlands and Germany in the next few months, so we're trying to work something out there, but I'm not I'm not sure yet. Another Twitch question. Uh, when you're animating, animating like this, how do you keep track of secondary motion, like the ears flapping in the, in this? Well, I think about, I think about, I, I, I think ahead. So I'm thinking about the action that's going to be happening after the drawing. And I think about the action that's happening before the drawing and on the drawing. And I, and I just animate the secondary action according to that. It just takes a little bit of time to do that. That's why I was just saying, I think I might have to adjust my ears because I'm, I might be animating the, the secondary of, on the secondary action on the ears ahead of itself a little bit. Because I've only got so many drawings to work with. And so I'm trying to cheat wherever I can because I don't want to have to add more drawings in order to make it work, because that'll soften the animation. Although I am going to have to add some drawings. But you just don't, you want to make sure you don't, you don't soften your animation too much by adding in-betweens. But I will have to add a few in here beyond what I was thinking. So it might not, it's not going to be just a 24 frame. It might be more like a 28 frame cycle but we'll see uh, does dialogue need to be recorded in advance to match the animation to it or are there ways to for voice actors to match timing uh, from something like exposure sheets no we uh, always do the dialogue first Now we will do, like if a piece of dialogue, if it gets, if, if it goes through and it we, turns out it's not good enough and the shot's already been animated, um, we'll replace it. We'll, we'll, a lot of times we'll bring in actors to, to we'll play the video on the screen, the, the, the film, and they'll, an, they'll talk to according to what's happening on the screen. How do you take realistic drawing and make it a cartoon? Well, that's it's basically pushing pushing the uh, pushing the parts that are essential to the character and getting rid of the parts that aren't essential. It's the art of caricature. Yeah, what you caricature?
We are slowly getting there. Let's see how we're looking here. I'm just going to flip it. Flip it. Uh, where can people buy that pencil again? It's just a, it's just a regular, uh, hold on. There we go. It's just a regular holder. You can, there's, there's all kinds of holders. This is, this is a, uh, Krita color holder. Just go online, go into create a color holder. Have I done this one already? Let's see here. Uh, will the video course on advanced animation also be available for streaming after we download? Yes. Uh, do you know any animators who animate in pen? Um, yeah, I mean, we all we all would experiment with that. I think Andreas did that once. I know Cooper Schmidt did it every once in a while. Uh, would you start a studio with X Disney animators? If so, what would you animate? I have no idea. You got to find the right story. Be all about the story, finding the right story. That's what it would be like. That's what it would be for me. What do you consider, quote, quote, the right story? To me, it's a story that's going to move me. You know, make me laugh, make me cry, make me want to make it. Cool doesn't do it for me. It's got to be more than just cool. It's got to be emotional and, like I said, move me, make me think about things in a different way. Uh, have you ever tried your hand at 3D animation? No. I have not. And uh, for the latecomers, what are the lines and O's in the right corner of the paper? Those are uh, indicating my key drawings and my breakdown drawings. My key drawings are the, the key. No, those really dictate everything else that's happening. Those are the key poses. And then the breakdowns are not necessarily the keys, but they're not an in-between either. They're somewhere in between. In between an in-between and, and, and a key. So they're a breakdown. Uh, as a casual artist who just uses pencil, 
Uh, how do I progress into working with color? Should I use alcohol markers or colored pencils? Use whatever makes you feel comfortable. Alcohol markers, you know, they have their own little idiosyncrasies as far as the, the medium itself. And same with colored pencils. So, you know, they, they each have their own little struggles and benefits. I enjoyed colored pencil more when I was just starting out when I was younger. You saw the Luca movie, right? Yes. What'd you think of it? I loved it. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Oh, I forgot the other leg on this one. What the heck, man? Would you consider Luca being an example of the right stories? What's that? Would you consider Luca to be an example of the right story? Well, for that director, it was. For sure. I think the movie came out great. Hair. It all depends on the director and, you know, how that does the story talk to them and I think in that case it did, right? I suppose. Huh? I suppose. Uh, would you ever join a 2D animation studio again or make your own? Neither. I'll probably just do what I'm doing. I mean, I, I might get involved with another studio if I ever get another uh, project off the ground. But I don't think I'll ever have my own studio beyond what we've got now. I like I like being small. I love being small. I like doing my own stuff. But once again, if you guys are just tuning in, we've got a brand new, brand new course on my approach to uh, doing more complex animation. It's called separating the performance from the mechanics. And it's my approach to you know, attacking com complex animation and breaking it down in a way that you can uh, create something that's complex, but also not get caught up in it and have something entertaining. Matter of fact, we've got a um, we've got a commercial for it, Dustin. We didn't play, right? Uh, we have not played it. No. Let's go. Well, let's go ahead and take take a break. Uh, let's show the commercial. I'll continue working on these in betweens, and uh, we'll come back after the commercial. All right. 
Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and I am very excited to let you know that I've got a brand new animation course coming out. You know, when I first started this website, I wanted to share my animation knowledge. Um, I've got 35 years of experience, and I wanted to share it with you. And, uh, and over the years, my website has grown beyond animation into drawing and painting and design and all kinds of stuff, writing. Um, but I've always felt strongly about sticking with the core of what we do here, and that's animation. And so I'm so happy to have completed my fourth course on animation. This is an advanced course on separating the, uh, the mechanics from the performance. A lot of times we have a very complicated shot that we have to deal with, and the way that I deal with that is I break things up. I separate things. I do them one at a time. And it's during this course that I show you my method on how to do that. Now, um, I've got three other courses, an introduction to animation, my scene approach, and then I've also got an acting for animation course. And this completes that by adding some more, uh, taking it further by taking you into the more complex areas of animation and how to deal with that. Now, one of the things that I'm very excited about, you know, you guys have been incredibly faithful and loyal and just wonderful customers over the years. Um, I wanted to give this course to you for free. So uh, for a limited time, um, this course is going to be absolutely free. If you come to CreatureArtTeacher.com and go to the course, you can just download it. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be... Uh, it, it, there's a lot there. There's three different shots. I have a shot with a penguin uh, twirling his son around. I have a guy putting on a coat. Very complicated uh, uh, action there. And then I have another character, a dog, a four-legged dog walking in and uh, laying down and delivering dialogue that way. I take you through all three of those shots uh, in various ways. I talk about charting. I talk about exposure sheets. I talk about timing, all of that stuff. And so I think you're going to find it very interesting. I think you're gonna, it's going to help your animation if you're struggling. And um, I really enjoyed creating it, and I hope you enjoy following along. So go on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com, download the, uh, the course, and let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, it's a limited time that it's for free, but do it now. Grab it and, uh, and let us know. So until then, go on out there, put some beauty back into the world, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. And we're back. So there you go. So that's our new course. And uh, I really encourage you to check it out. I know the site is probably going slow right now. I'm not sure what the, what the state of uh, its state is now. I know we've got Steve working on it. But um, stick to it. If it's, if it's uh, giving you a hard time, just stick to it. I promise you, you'll, you'll, you'll get it. We will get you the course. Right now, I'm just drawing away on paper. I haven't been able to animate on paper in such a long time. It's, I love it. Nothing like being able to draw on paper. Twenty years of my career, or well, actually twenty-five years of my career, were spent doing it this way. Uh, how was it for you when you went to Ringling School of the Arts? Say it again. How was it for you when you went to Ringling School of the Arts? Well, I went there in 1986 from, 1980, uh, from 1986 to 1989. Um, it didn't have animation. I went there to be an illustrator and a painter. Um, it, was, it was great. You know, it was a whole different time. And um, I really loved it. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. Um, hold on one second. That's the one. There's the one I'm looking for. Um, we had so much fun as artists back then, and uh, I got to tell you, it was it was it was uh, 
it was a yeah there's no such thing as digital and all that kind of stuff so you know it, it was just pure you know you work on illustration board and you work in watercolor there was no digital this or digital that and i didn't i, I couldn't even conceive of being able to draw on a computer screen what that's crazy and uh you know i just it was great it was very very uh naive we were very very naive about our futures but it was cool and um and exciting you know um when i when I got my job with Disney, I was I had just finished my second year at school and I did my internship in California with Disney and they offered me a job at the end of it. And I still had one more year of school. So I went back to school knowing that I had a job waiting for me at Disney. And so it really took the pressure off and I really enjoyed that last year. That's the year my wife and I got married and I mean, a lot of things happened to me that that year. And um, it was pretty cool. Uh, who drew the Bear Cubs muck and luck for Balto? I don't know. I don't know who did them. But they're pretty darned awesome. How cute, fat, and poofy. Just a little bit poofy. Just a little bit poofy. All right. So there's 16 drawings so far. So now I'm going to go through and kind of selectively figure out where I want to put my in-betweens next. Got 16 drawings so far, so that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Definitely want an add in between where he's where the heads are bobbing down and going back up. So that's four. Let's do that now. So we got it. We got that. We got that. And we got that. We got this. So I want to I want to throw an in between. I think. What is your favorite dog breed? Uh, probably Lab. Labrador. Is that what uh, Achilles is? Achilles is. A lab mix. One, two, four. And do you take uh, art commissions? What's that? Do you take art commissions? No. I do not. Not anymore. Don't have time to do them. Especially now that we're doing Snow Bear. Uh, do you not want uh, to make 2D animated movies for cinema anymore? Or do you just prefer making shorts and teaching? I just prefer shorts. You know, working at the big studio is, is really great. I loved working for Disney. I loved it. It's, it was the best 21 years of my life professionally. It was just awesome. But I really love working from home. <laughs> you know, as a, as a 53 year old, you know, living the life that I live kind of semi-retired and doing this is much, I, I just, I love my lifestyle and, and I don't need to work on a big movie 
If I can just do my own little shorts, I'm happy. And teach. That's what I love the most. I love teaching. I love kind of sharing my experiences with you guys along the way. That to me is, that's, that's what I really love. <clears throat> I gotta do this really quick. What time is it? It is it? 327. So we've been at it for two hours and 27 minutes. Yes. So this will be a three hour session. Sorry, folks, it's just animation it takes a while. We have two pound donation from Blue Animates on YouTube, uh, and his question is, uh, was it a good job to have uh, any good and, uh, and or bad aspects? With what? Uh, was it a good job to have good and bad aspects? Uh, D Disney? Uh, uh, Disney, yeah. Yeah, it was a great uh, it was a great job to have. And that was a uh, two-pound donation question from YouTube. Oh, right on. Okay, so now the head going up. I want it in between that. <laughs> Somebody on YouTube wrote, long stream equals best stream. <laughs> well, you guys are getting the full, the full thing today. I was going to say the full Monty, but you're not getting the full Monty. <laughs> Walter keeps, keeps messaging me. Walter, if you're watching, I can't take your messages, man. <laughs> what is he trying to write, write to you about? I don't know. I wonder if he's trying to text you saying, hey, I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see what he's texting. He said everyone's talking about the new live course or the new free course. Ah. Awesome. Well, that's it is. It's just that. It is live. I mean, free. It's free and it's live. We're doing live. Uh, have you ever tried a 3D program called Maya? I'm learning it in college uh, called Animation Mentor. Uh, in, in a college called Animation Mentor. Yes, I have I have uh, tried it and tried to learn it and never did. I, I messed around with Maya a little bit when, when we worked at Digital Domain. Yeah, no, everyone uses Maya. Yeah. That animates. Oh, and, my uh, gosh. My legs are... Itching. Yeah, I managed to make like a fun helicopter. And if I wasn't like smooth and all that was just very, it was lots of blocks. Ah. Uh.
I'm going to keep this super loose. Super duper. A twi uh, uh, Twitch message being relayed <laughs> from uh, World of Froby said, Aaron, sometimes you inspire me to drop out of grad school and just draw my way to happiness. <laughs> I think I might end up with some parents, parents wanting to kill me. <laughs> Parents call in at just demanding, like, why are you, why'd you tell our son to <laughs> drop out of school? Oh, yeah, Zonji's right. Uh, Zonji uh, on Facebook says that, Aaron, that. Uh, the Facebook viewership is higher than usual. Everyone is engaged and happy with your presentation. Oh, uh, awesome. Thank you. Because I think usually, like for the past couple months, I think we're averaging anywhere between 65 to 70, more or less, viewers at a time. Uh -huh. But we're right now, we're averaging at 96. Cool. Just under 100. And right. that's on Facebook. That's not including all the other other places. I've got to use your account here on YouTube. 448 watching on YouTube. And the other other two sites I am not I do not know. All right. We're getting there, folks. Hair. Hair. I know we mentioned about the, the music of Encanto earlier, but what did you think of the movie in general? Loved it. My good friend Byron Howard directed it. I love Byron, and I think that guy deserves every success he gets. He's a, one of the smartest guys I know in animation, one of the best artists, most talented, story genius, everything. So happy I got to work with him. Is that in a binder? How do you keep the pages lined up? In a binder? The, the the holes in isn't it doesn't see they don't see the holes in the bottom of the of the oh, paper. Oh, so Here, let me show you. There you go. Yeah, he punches those holes out with his bare fists. Yeah. Hair. The hair was blocking his foot. I wonder if maybe we should just move the uh, the camera a bit, a bit more forward. What do you say there, Pally? No, oh, Pally, I think it's fine. I think it's fine, Pally. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Fredica says that uh, we're having uh, 100 
roughly around uh, 150 viewers on Twitch. Awesome. All right, let's jump over to the head. You want to hang out, or are you go, you're going to go back home? Uh, I'm going to head home because um, Aiden is going to be all by himself. <laughs> uh. so I, I got kid duty tonight. Yeah. Tell everyone how you, you moved in with your sister. How you get to hang out and babysit your nephews now. Yes. Great. <laughs> your nephew and niece. Come on, you're going to love it. <laughs> we had a good time last night. We were, at, we were out moving uh, Dustin's stuff out of his apartment. And uh, we went out for pizza last night. I took everyone out and... And uh, got to hang out with my little granddaughter and my grandson. I don't get to see them very often. Yeah, had some good old Tony's pizza. Tony's. Tony's. Hey, Tony. <laughs> right, Tony. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, last night, though, the, the kids were supposed to be in bed by 1030, which they did. Or no, 930. I was like, all right, go to sleep. Have a good night. Love you. And and I'm at the I'm at my new desk playing my games with my friends. And like an hour later, little niece Avalon comes out. Oh really? She's like, I'm thirsty. <laughs> okay, I'll get get her some water, take her take her back to bed. And then like half an hour later, she goes to the bathroom. She she Apparently, the toilet right next to their bathroom doesn't work, so she has to go to the one that's in the kitchen, which is right near where my desk is. Yeah. And so she she's walking out to go to the bathroom, like half an hour, half an hour later. Like, she ended up going to the bathroom, like, four different times last night. <laughs> like She's a five-year-old. But then she'll walk, but then when she's done, she'll walk out. And see me playing my games. Like, what game are you playing? <laughs> what game are you playing? <laughs> and other times, it wasn't even just. It wasn't even having to go to the bathroom. She would come out saying, "Oh my god, a uh, show stop, stop working, or TV turned off." Yeah, I have to go turn the TV back. It's off. Uncle Ducky. Uncle, it's not Uncle, Uncle Dustin. Uncle Ducky. Uncle Ducky. She can't say Dustin or Dusty, so it's Uncle Ducky. <laughs> Apparently, someone from Twitch says, I thought Dustin had a surprise baby all of a sudden. <laughs> Thank God, no, but I think I surprisingly turned into Pretty a nanny in a span of a week. Dusty, your voices are hilarious. Who, who are your favorite voice actors? Oh, my, my all-time favorite has to be Steve Bloom. Has to be who? Steve Bloom. B-L-U-M. And uh, your hair is in the way. Yeah, he's, he's done voices for numerous characters in... Different video games and uh, animated uh, series and animes. And even my favorite character from my favorite anime. Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. Oh, yeah? Yep. Man, there are, and there are a lot of other... Uh, Voice actors I, I follow, like Jess Harnell and 
Um, oh, oh, what's his name? He's um, he's Bender from Futurama. Uh, <laughs> But he also did um, uh, Marcus Phoenix from uh, from Gears of War, which is an awesome uh, series on on the uh, Xbox. Rob Polson, that's it. Thank you. Hopefully, that's the right one. All right, we're getting there. Now the key is these are our peak drawings. Uh, for, on uh, Facebook, sorry, I don't know if you read my question because my computer froze. Oh no! But, oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Um, but uh. I had I have asked uh how was it for you um having gone to Ringling? It was that it was that question of uh what was it like going to Ringling? Oh, yeah. Uh it was awesome. Back in the day, it was awesome. It was very very cool. Oh, very, that very... John DiMaggio. Wait, let me You know what? Let me just Double. What are you babbling about? Yes, it, it was Don, John DiMaggio. He he did a voice of Bender. He did Marcus Phoenix, and and he's also and I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for this from a lot of a lot of our viewers, but I never I didn't watch um, I barely watched Adventure Times, but he does a character in that one that's very iconic. And to uh, uh, Carpet Fire, I, I did, I, I did do some scratch voices, uh, for Dad and his, uh, um, and his group for uh, Tembo. I did some scratch voices for Tembo back when that was, uh, in the works at Digital Domain. And other than that, um, there was one of our followers, um who's a animation student needed voices for her uh, per, for her project and uh and so I did uh, a voice for her it was kind of a like a dracula kind oh, of Oh wait when did you do that? Huh? When did you do that? Oh this was some I think it was sometime last year. Well that's cool. Yeah. Uh, from YouTube, how do you choose uh, subjects to animate? Um, well, it depends on story, really. Today, I just wanted to, I like animating dogs. So I decided to animate a dog. I like dogs. I like dogs. You like dogs? I like dogs. Got this and one more drawing, and then we're going to the shooter, down shooter. Almost time for the dying sheets, huh? Yep, making these very sloppy. If you have to draw a child and you have no child to pose for you or can't find a good photo reference that you want of a child, what do you do? I think about child proportions. You got to do that first. You think about those child proportions and then you work from there. But I, I usually don't don't do it unless I have reference. Yeah, you know, if, if you're if you're, especially if you're having to do something specific. If I'm just uh, designing a character or something, it can do that without reference. But but if it, it's even then, it depends on what you're trying to do. But if you're thinking, you know, if you're talking about doing a child, 
you just think about child proportions, which are, you got a, a head, and then, you know, a child's face is much smaller in proportion to their head. You know, and they've got these eyes, bigger eyes, little nose, little mouth. The, the nose is about to go into the realm of hair. But you just move, so you're good. <laughs> so you know, you know, kid purport that looks more like a children of the corn, but you know what I mean. Children of the corn. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so there's our in between there. I want to get to our next. Da -da -da -da. One more drawing. One more. Uh, for me, from Friedka. Um, have you played any of the Halo games? I've heard they are quite popular, but here in Poland, no one heard about them. Really? No one knows about Halo in Poland? Wow. I... Halo is one of my all-time favorite franchises since the since Halo first became a thing on the first Xbox back in what well, what was it 2001 2002 and uh and I didn't own an Xbox at at that time it was a friend a friend of mine who owned owned one and at the time I had a Nintendo 64 and when I went to his house for the first time and I saw the Xbox, we went we went through all the games where he showed me all the games that he had and one of them was Halo and uh and he and I was like, Oh, what's Halo? And he said, Oh, it's a sci fi first person shooter and you're a super soldier, blah blah blah. You're a super soldier. I'm like, yeah, let's well, I'm willing to give it a try. And the moment we started playing it, I immediately got hooked. And that's when I immediately wanted to get an Xbox of my own. And uh, and I think I got and I got one for my birthday when we went to California in two thousand three, two thousand four, two thousand four. Yeah. Yep. And about a year year later, Halo Two came around and immediately got that and. As each Halo came out, I just got, I would immediately get the game and just enjoy the living crap out of it. I joined last, so apologies if uh, if this is a repeat question, but uh, what kind of paper and folder setup are you using right now? This is just 22-pound animation paper. 16 field? 16 field. I order it from uh, animation supplies. And using... Cartoon supplies, sorry. Cartoon supplies. That's and the... the name of the company. They're in Burbank, California. I order five hundred. I order, I order five hundred sheets at a time, and I usually get like three or four boxes. So I usually get two thousand sheets at a time, and it lasts me a while. And just so you know, your your head is is in the bottom right corner. Is it blocking the drawing? It's not blocking the drawing. You're good. All right, then so. don't even mention it. Okay. There we go. Uh, what is the best way to learn acting if I want to be a character designer? You know, I took I took a lot of improv classes, and it really helps. It helps with your with your animation, and it would help with character design because you're you want to think about acting with character design. The more you know, the better off you are. I would I would definitely 
recommend improv to anybody in in the industry of animation. This really helps you understand what it is we do. Uh, from YouTube, uh, Aaron, when will when will you come back to East Africa? Well, if I could come back every year, I would. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to come back next year. Or this year, I mean. But we'll definitely come back probably in 2023. And if I can make it back sooner, I definitely will. If you're really old school, you know Duke Nukem. Oh, I know about Duke Nukem. Hail to the king, baby. Uh, in your courses, you pay a lot of attention uh, not to create tangents in your drawings. Uh, I can see a couple in today's drawings. Is it just general rule or stills uh, for, for stills to avoid tangents? Yeah, sometimes you can't avoid them, but you're going to move right through them, so I don't worry about them. Not when it's a, something moving through. If it's a key pose, then yeah, I'll watch out for it. Uh, could you talk briefly about exaggeration in poses, please? Like, how do you find that balance of pushing poses without making it too cartoon-like? Well, I'll, I'll really push them hard if I'm moving through it. It depends on how long I'm going to be sitting on a pose. So um, the, the longer I sit on a pose, the less exaggerated it will be. All right, so it's time to switch gears here. Short power. All right. Turn that on, make sure. In there. Getting everything all set up. Getting everything set. That should cover it all. Let me brighten that up a little bit. You can switch over to the to the down shooter too if you want. All right. Switching. So this is dragon frame right here. This is what the camera sees. I'm uh, I'm going to go ahead and start shooting. Fire away! While I'm shooting, um, I'm not going to answer any questions because I have to focus on the number of times that I'm shooting. But here we go. Well, how about uh, I did see a couple of questions for. Hold on, Dustin. Let me shoot this. Okay. There we go. Let me just get through. It'll take two minutes. If I had just said, just let me shoot it. First thing you said, let's start, answer some questions. No, I was going to, I was going to say I can answer questions that are that people are asking me. Go for it. All right. All right.
Uh, what was my favorite game animation wise? Uh, acting wise, I really enjoyed uh, the game The Last of Us. I love the facial gestures in that one. They did, they nailed that really well. Uh, and I really liked how the for Cuphead they really nailed that like old nineteen thirties and forties noodle animation style. What do I think of the new Cuphead series? Is it out yet? I know I, I saw the trailer for it. It looks, it looks All right. like fun. So we are shot. We got everything on the down shooter done. All set. All set. Hopefully we got the timing worked out. I just took a guess at the timing. So we're going to see. I'm going to set this to loop. Uh, playback. Let's uh, loop it and hit the space bar. <laughs> so I put I put a couple of those on twos at the top because I wanted to see if we needed hang time. I don't think we need the hang time. Feels like it's hanging a little too much, doesn't it? Yeah. Actually, the ears do need to be adjusted. Actually, something got a little wobbly in there. So I'm going to go through Let me do this here 28 Yeah, I don't think we need those hang times in there Let me see how I can I'm not sure how to lose frames here Let me stop it. How do you lose a frame? No idea. Well, there's only 20 some odd frames here. I could just reshoot it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how, I haven't gotten into this enough to know how to even cut frames. I don't know how to do it yet. What if I go X? Oh, that was easy. Highlight the frame and click it. X. <laughs> Come on, baby. X. Okay, so that was... Man, yeah, my mouse is moving really weird. You want to borrow mine? No. All right, so X. Look at that. And then X. Oh, 
Oh, there is something shot out of order. I got to reshoot it. So I was wondering if something was something was moving weird there. So let me uh, let me redo this. I'm going to shoot. I got a couple of drawings out of order. Gotcha. Man, it's there's a lot going on and it, everything's dragging really slow. Slow motion. Yeah. Come on. Oh my gosh! Come on. You take. Okay. All right. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to shoot it all on ones, and i got to find the where it's out of order there real quick. All right. And the lens that's on the camera is a 28 to 135 millimeter lens. There it is right there. Right at the beginning. And These two are out of order. I personally don't have any. Um, okay, good. I don't have any pets, but uh, that here uh, has quite a lot in in under his roof. <laughs> have what, two dogs, two, three cats, a rabbit. And fish. Lots of fish. You can show the down. You can show the desktop, and me shooting this if you want. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, good. Show, yeah, I'm showing the down shoot. So it's all about attitude. You know, here is more than just trying to get mechanics right. You want to get attitude in there as well. There. All right, we'll come on back. Uh, someone just recently asked, uh, is there a lot of math in order to be an animator? No. There's a little bit, but it's, it's easy math. Break it down in your head. Okay, we're going to loop it again. That's already on loop. And let's hit playback. Yeah, there's his little trot. Yeah, that would be better. Hitting a weird thing there. Where? Right at the end. Boop. With the, Boop. Yeah. the flick of the tail? Well, that's just a flick of the... Uh, it's showing the last... Right here, for some reason. Right here. There. There, that's better. See now it's not doing that flicker anymore. Yeah. For some reason it's showing that last frame. So it's a little smooth right now. Um, but the attitude's there. And you got all the overlap. The the tail pops a little bit. The ears are not quite overlapping the way that I would want. I would probably go in and make adjustments, but for doing it on as a first pass, this is kind of fun. You know, it's paying attention to arcs and making sure everything works right. Now, what we would do from here is I come up and let's stop it. And we go up to export movie. 
And I'm going to go export. And we'll just call it dog. And we'll export it to my desktop. I'm going to export the movie. Okay. There it is. And now we come to come up to view and we loop that and hit play. There we go. So there's our little dog. Your voice is falling. <laughs> I know I've been talking for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> you should drink something. Yeah, I've yeah. got a. There we go. So once again, you guys, um, our brand new animation course on uh, separating the mechanics from the performance or the performance from the mechanics. That's out right now on creatureartteacher.com. And it's absolutely free. I'm so excited to offer it to you guys for free. Makes me really happy, and it was so fun to sit down and animate on paper today and show you guys my methods on doing that. Um, you know, this is a, a very simple little dog trot, but, you know, we animated for, what, two and a half hours, three hours? And look what you can get done in three hours. There, that, you know, there's a lot there, and it was a lot of fun. I've got a, an entire course on four-legged uh, locomotion that includes trots like this, and that's only five bucks. That's five bucks at, at, on the Creature Art Teacher. Um, my all my animation courses are fifty percent off. A lot, but my uh, my fundamentals uh, of animation and my scene approach and my my four legged uh, locomotion bundle, uh, those are all five dollars a piece. And then our um, our premium membership, that's only that's forty percent off. It's the lowest it's ever been. So um, we're. So if you want a really good deal, go on over. When you download uh, the free course, there's some other great deals in there as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. I had a blast. Um, man, I always love being able to draw on paper and animate. It's mm -hmm. fun, huh? Yeah. Nice beard, by the way. Yeah, man, it's nice sure. and full. Oh, it looks good. You look very nice and full and Amish. <laughs> I'm feeling very Amish. I feel like going out in a horse and buggy. What do you say, Gemini? <laughs> Jedediah. Jedediah. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, hope you guys had fun. Um, and we'll probably, I'm going to put these up. Maybe we can uh, make the drawings, uh, put them somewhere we can download them. And uh, you can use those as well. Uh, once I, you know, there's a, there's a little bit of timing issues in here. I'd move things through maybe a little quicker here and there. But, um, but there it is. There's your little dog trot. And uh, am I missing anything? I think we're about it. All right. Well, go on out there and have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. And uh, try some animation or do some painting. Do whatever. Put some beauty back into the world because that's what we do as artists. And until next week, I'll talk to you next time. Oh, and remember, go on over to Creature Art Teacher and pick up that free animation course. What do you got to lose? It's free. And uh, it gives you something to do this weekend. So go check it out. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Cowboy Bebop. Hey, everybody. Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and I am very excited to let you know that I've got a brand new animation course coming out. You know, when I first started this website, I wanted to share my animation knowledge, 